One of the biggest concerns when you have to handle all three areas is something you and I talked about at practice a couple of weeks ago. It's not the number of times you kick in the game. It's the number of times you have to kick during the week because you're handling everything. When you talked to Coach Johnson about that, what concerns did you bring up and then what adjustments were made? Um, I just told him, you know, I was just, I mean, doing all three, you can't really do all three every single day. You got to space it out a little bit and maybe just cut back on the reps. I mean, I talked, or we had Matt Barr come by, you know, a few weeks ago and, uh, you know, he told me barely, he kicked probably towards the end of his career, just like 20 balls a week. I mean, you don't really got to do that many, but, you know, once you perfect your form and everything, you don't necessarily have to do that many reps. And, I, you know, they were definitely willing to, you know, cut back and they have, and so far it's been good. Tim Wakefield throws a knuckleball with the Red Sox. Whenever he needed help, he would talk to a Phil Negro or Charlie Huff who also threw knuckleballs because it's a different kind of pitch. When a Matt Barr is able to come in, what are some things he can talk to you kicker to kicker that really can make a difference for you? Um, you know, it just goes back to the basics. Um, just, you know, pick a target. You just got to relax and, you know, just certain things that, you know, you don't really think about every day. And uh, he gives you a couple little drills that you can just work on and, you know, basically just focus on each, focusing on each, every, each and every kick. And, you know, every kick should be the same kick. So you just got to you know, try and do the same thing every time. Let's talk about the operation. Snapper, Ty Howell, and we know he snaps it back, I mean, with yeah, real no precision fun. to the point where if you're in the back of the end zone, fans may not realize he'd be the long snapper because mm -hmm. of how quickly he gets it back. And then Ryan Kaiser. How long does it take for an operation to really get used to one another, especially the holder part of it? Um, it takes it, it takes a while, but um, I feel, you know, I, we're really comfortable together, all three of us. Um, so far, we've been good. I'm, not, I'm nine to ten right now, so uh, you know you just gotta work on it in practice, and you know just get used to one another, and you should be fine. What about the swing it takes on a football when you really need to get it out of there, like you did against Purdue, that was down at the one, versus one when you're at the 40, 50 yard line? How different is the swing for you of the leg and what you need to do on those two kicks? Um, I don't. I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say the swings that much different. It's just the way you hold the ball. I guess more if you're like on the 40 yard line trying to pin it in there, you want to, you want the ball up a little bit, or you could just have the nose down. Whereas, uh, you know, for if you want to hit one real good, you want the ball pretty much level. So that's. What was interesting against Purdue is that you told Jack Ham and me that field goals really were not an issue. Yeah. that for you it was actually the punting into the wind that yeah. was the issue. Discuss wind, pregame, halftime, when you go back out to do a little bit of kicking to help you judge how you have to handle it. Um, pregame, you know, it was, the wind was just, it's kind of like a swirl in that stadium, so it was kind of, it was really tough. You couldn't really judge which way. You know, one direction I was, I'd hit a 52 yarder and it would just sail because of the wind and then I'd turn around. And I do the same thing the other way, and then it's just sometimes, you know, it just gets stuck up there because the wind. But uh, definitely, you know, when we came back out for halftime, you know, it cooled down a little bit. It wasn't as windy. And, uh, I mean, once you're out there, I guess for field goals, you can judge with the wind. Just, you know, you can let the wind calm down a little bit. And because I'm the one that's in charge, you know, I get to tell the holder when to go. And uh, the punting, that's a little more difficult because you got to rely on the guys up front to, you know, make that judgment. So. From Texas, but you have a lot of family from southeastern Pennsylvania, from Philadelphia. In the end, what really did swing you to Penn State? Because obviously you've been up here enough. Um, I just, I just love the atmosphere up here. You know, I felt, just felt comfortable. You know, I can. It's a three-hour drive home, or you know, to see family. You know, if I want to get away for a weekend, so it was just more. I felt more comfortable with, you know, being close to family. What about other sports in high school? What else did you participate in besides football? Um, I played soccer up until, well, I, I, I participated in soccer and then I focused more on football towards, you know, the end of high school, so. How interesting is this week's game because of Venrick Mark? It, it should be fun, you know, we're really good friends from back home. Uh, you know, I would always stay after practice and you know, we would we do. You know, I'd I'd punt it to him. You know, try and get him better, and you know, he would get me better with you know, 
practicing more. So, you know, I would give him rides home sometimes. So we were, we were really good friends.